Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today I'm going to show you how to make cornbread with bacon, onions, and sweet corn right inside. And just for fun, let's do it on a Lodge Camp Dutch oven. Stay tuned. So, I know you guys really like to see our regular entree dishes today, but we've had a lot of requests to do cornbread. We did it a long, long time ago, way back when the channel first started. We did it out on the campfire that time. But I know you guys are been a lot of interest in it. And today, I just was, you know, going back through my memory banks and remember that one of my great aunts used to make her cornbread with bacon, sweet onions, and little cream corn, sweet corn inside the cornbread. And I just, that just came into my mind. And I'm like, so today we're gonna try to create my great aunt's old cornbread, souped up, I guess you would call, call it uh, from up there in South Georgia. So here are the items you're going to need to make this dish. It's gonna be two strips of diced bacon, about a half of a medium sweet Vidalia onion. That's a small eight ounce uh, can of sweet corn cream style. Get the good stuff. You're gonna need some milk or buttermilk. You're gonna need an egg. You need a quarter cup of oil. We just, we were going a whole hog. We're going in, that's uh, straight up butter, melted. And then here today we're gonna use Martha White self-rising cornmeal with hot rise, okay? I actually was going to make this totally from scratch with uh, Alabama King. I went to my local uh, grocer today, and they didn't have one bag of regular cornmeal. All right, so you're going to get a bowl of something to mix with and our 10-inch Lodge Camp Oven. If you don't know this already, I know there's a lot of you guys that just subscribed to our channel here recently, but a camp oven has this rim to hold your, uh, your coals on the top. Um, so we got that ready, perfectly seasoned. This guy's been in a beautiful service with us over here. If you want to make a half recipe of this, you could do it over here in a little 8 inch. Or if you really got a lot of people to feed, you can come over on your big boy on your 12. So we've got about three quarters of the chimney of charcoal headed off there. Now you can also do this on uh, your coals from your campfire at camp. Uh, use charcoal; it's a little more controllable than than if you, especially if you're starting out. I would suggest you start out doing charcoal, and then as you get better at doing a camp Dutch oven cooking, then you can transition in very easily into using your camp coals. So we need a hot we need a hot pot for this. Okay. So we're getting that, uh, that guy ready to go, and we're going to start preheating the Camp Dutch oven. five minutes since we put it up on the coals there so we let's set it over here to the side we have our lodge four and one over there for it so let's go ahead and we're just going to dump in our bacon we got a nice sizzle there already and we'll just start uh moving that around at the bottom let it start rendering out 
And our goal here with this is to brown this bacon with the onions. That's going to do two things for us. It's going to give us ingredients to go in the cornbread and it's going to oil the bottom of that pot. So also I want to kind of, even right now while it's, the pot's hot and the bacon's still kind of raw, I want to squish it up around the sides with my tool. See, I'm just kind of dragging around the sides. That's going to bring some of that bacon fat up there on the sides of my Dutch oven. Get that nice and greased so our cornbread don't stick. So once you start seeing that bacon get about half cooked there, you want to go ahead and just dump all your onions in there. Alright, and we want to get a little brownness on those too, and that's going to bring out the sweetness of the onions. If you guys have ever uh, cooked bacon with the onions, you know smell coming off of that right now is something that brings all your campers running. So while our onions are getting going over there, I want to start preheating my lid. I have it up on the lodge four in one lid stand there. And it does a lot of other things too, but if you have a trivet whatever kind of trivet you have, something to keep it up and clean. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start taking all these extra coals I have. I'm going to lay me two rings on here because uh, cornbread needs to cook at 400 to 450. Okay. So start moving all these over, start letting that get hot. looks pretty good. A lot of the onions are starting to pick up some brownness now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a slotted spoon and I want to leave that bacon grease in there. So we pulled that camp oven up off of that big bed of coals, moved a lot of them to the side and you see I have just a ring about the size of the Dutch oven but right around the outside. I want nothing under the very bottom. It's going to be very easy to burn your cornbread. So we're going to get that over there and preheating while we mix the cornbread up. So let's mix this per the package directions. This is going to be uh, two cups of the mix. Again, this is Martha White. Been around for a long time here in the south. It's two cups of the Martha White. Got an egg. Let's go ahead and break that in there. It's fresh from our chickens. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put in our onions and bacon. That in there. Uh, I'm gonna kind of eyeball this. This is kind of soupy. That's got a pretty good bit of moisture, and I'm probably gonna take about half of that can. And until we see what the consistency is like and then our quarter cup of oil which in this case is melted unsalted butter and we're just going to go ahead and start putting that together try to get all those ingredients combined you see it's pretty stiff but I see it's a pretty good distribution of the corn bits through there and that's kind of what I'm looking for so I would say about four ounces of your cream corn and then we're going to slowly add some milk. Give that about half a cup. And cornbread mix should be pretty soupy. Okay. Um, and I like to let it sit a little while but it should be like a, a cake batter not like biscuit dough. Alright. And because that cornmeal is going to absorb a lot of that moisture. So, a little more. So this is kind of an eyeball thing. And I tend to find when I make this that 
it should be more like pancake batter almost. It should pour really easily. You can kind of pour it off a spoon, you know, kind of check it. And I'm going to let it sit for a little while too. I'm going to go just about another two tablespoons. I'm going to let it sit for a little while too before you put it in the Dutch, pour it in the Dutch oven. But man, I'll tell you what, I smell like bacon and onions right now. And I actually smell that sweet corn too. Let's go with just a dash more. Couldn't hurt, right? take a look at it real good just starting to get brown but I know it needs a little bit more brownness around the edges we've been rotating that lid and we've been rotating the pot itself so as these coals burn down I've been easing them out closer and closer to that edge okay so that's gonna help you get an even brownness on the uh, on the edges out there and every once in a while I'll take my lid lifter and just tap that pot that'll let any ash fall that you might be pushing over the edge there so that when you open the lid it doesn't fall down into what you're cooking so a lot of you guys are always commenting what was the total cook time for the dish and if you watch me long enough, you already know the answer to that. But if you haven't, if you just came on board here and you don't know the answer to that question already, that total cook time is going to completely depend on what fuel source you're using, your charcoal, whatever kind of charcoal you have, the humidity outside, how much wind there is, and how cold it is. That's why I don't give you cook times. Here, we're right at about, since we put it in, we're right at about 18 minutes right now, which is a little slower than it would have been in the, you know, inside in the oven where everything is controlled. So, just remember, the Dutch oven cooking is not a controlled environment, just like any, any, we're cooking it in the oven, all right? If you need that, then go ahead and absolutely do it in the oven. Um, but outdoors, you never know what you're going to come up against when you come out there to camp and try to make something like this. The cook time is going to be when it's done. So it looks pretty good. I mean, nice and brown on the top, which doesn't seem to be coming out on the camera that well. There we go. Um, kind of press it, thump it a little bit. Could have probably made it rise up a little bit more by adding a little additional bacon powder, but man, the smell of sweet corn and onions and bacon are coming off of that thing right now. Let's cool off a little bit and we'll turn it out and uh, hey, we'll get some of the butter on it and give it a shot. So this is for all you guys have been following back with Gourmet Channel for a while. You know we lost our precious dog, Makita, uh, about 10 days ago. So right now, I want to introduce you to the new Backwoods Gourmet mascot. And she is also a Morky, just like Makita was. She is about eight weeks old. We just got her. She's been a very little sweet dog so far, and her name is Cabela. Okay? And we had a live stream the other night, and I asked for a bunch of suggestions. Mrs. Backwoods went on Facebook. We got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of suggestions on her name. It was very difficult for us to narrow it down. 
Uh, but Cabela, I guess in Italian, as far as Mrs. Backwoods researches go, so if it ain't right, but blame her. Okay. Was what? <laughs> beautiful goddess? Beautiful. Be or beautiful. Well, Bella is beautiful. But Cabela and all you guys that are outdoor related like me, we know what Cabela's was, right? So I thought it kind of mixed between the two. So this is Cabela. You'll be seeing her more and more on the channel as she gets bigger and all that. So bring her in for a close-up. She needs her close-up. <laughs> and at present time she's 1.8 pounds no she's 1 pound 8 ounces so that's 1.1 1. 1 1 pound pounds. 8 ounces ok 1 pound 8 ounces but she'll get bigger alright guys bye if you like bye. a puppy drop a like button right down there if you got a comment <laughs> about her Please drop a comment, and hey, if you guys uh, have a comment about Bakita, and we appreciate all the outpouring of sympathy, uh, there was over 300 comments. We appreciate it. already learning the rat kill bite. She's got the flip flop by the neck. So let's go ahead and cut us out a piece of our uh, cornbread here. You can do this at camp. You can do this at home. You can do this in your oven or you can do it on charcoal like we did. That first piece is the hardest one to get going, and then you just pull that out like that. All right, came right out of the Dutch oven. Like I said, I, I probably would have preferred to put a little bit more baking powder in this mix, but let's go ahead and give it a little softened butter. Right inside there and obviously you know this is a side dish this is not uh, a meal but I know a lot of people back in the old days they just eat that right there as a meal you see inside it's got the bacon the onions oh, man it's gonna be awesome so it really turned out good it didn't really rise as much as I thought it would you know, we just use the, the mix straight up out of the out of the package. I like mine to be a little bit higher than that, so I would suggest maybe when you do yours, add another maybe two teaspoons of baking powder. It'll rise up a little little better, especially when you do it with a Dutch oven. It's um it's not the oven, okay? So it cooks a little slower, so it might not rise as fast. But I'm just gonna pinch me off a little piece there and give it a try. Can really taste that bacon and onions. Mm. So if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there. You can subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great backwards gourmet video. It's gonna be right there, and for a whole playlist cast iron Dutch oven cooking, it'll be right up there. We'll see you next time. <laughs>